Hello, your signs of Gemini. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading for you guys. So I am starting out um, just kind of randomly. Always, I like to call in your spirit guides and your angels so that we get messages that's always to move you forward for your uh, positive, right? For your positivity. <laughs> I worded that weird, I know. Um, so let's get into your reading next 48 hour. This is the Real Talk deck and I got this from Etsy. And it's called Real Talk. I'm just gonna pull a few from it first. Then I'm gonna pull from this Surrender Power to surrender deck to see what we need to let go of possibly and surrender to. And I love it. I just love this deck. It's so pretty. It says, Poppin, you work hard and have earned everything that is coming your way. That's right, Gemini. It's time to acknowledge this by celebrating yourself. You know that you're the shit, so you might as well um, let everyone else witness your greatness. And I have evolution, the butterfly. Evolving is a part of life and it can involve many personal changes. Although this process takes time, you will emerge beautifully transformed. This is all part of the plan to prepare you for your next steps of the journey. And I love this guy. He is complete Zen. Zen. Curate an environment of peace and tranquility by embracing Zen energy. In moments of chaos, meditation can be used to obtain clarity, relaxation, and insight. This state of mind can be achieved by blocking out low vibrations. Hmm. That sounds like a message. Blocking the need to block out low vibrations. Libra's energy was, their reading was about somebody that was really affecting their energy and kind of bring it maybe either... Either bringing them down or they're calling in their soulmate. I don't know. It was. It could have been two of those things. So, what do they need to surrender? What does Gemini need to surrender? And we'll pull, after we do this Celtic cross, we will pull some more Oracle at the end. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. That the truth. That is the truth. Surrender your addictions. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that one's hard. I know. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So dealing with um, a little bit of this shadow energy, right? little shadowy energy hmm. and surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Taking action will attract success. So there we go. Surrender procrastination. Let me kind of scoot this back a little bit so that you can actually see everything. There we go. I guess that's all right. For the most part, Okay, we're going to get, um, I'm going to pull from the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Let's put this there. Surrender procrastination. That's a hard one, too. I mean, geez, you just have a few things to surrender. <laughs> oh, my lordy. Yeah, you've got a lot of things to surrender, guys. Um, you can do it. You can do it. This is, think of this as like, this is your lifetime to do it. This is your lifetime to wrap up what's been possibly many lifetimes of cycles of possibly abuse. Um, we can have addictions to anything. And, and in fact, when somebody would quit, um, you know, I used to like work with like people with addictions and things like that. And um, so after somebody quits uh, drugs or something big, then they can easily find that they become addicted to something else. Now, as long as that addiction is okay and, and we realize that there is a healthy balance within everything in life, I think that's probably fair to say. Um, we have to watch out. So anything can, there's a lot of addictions out there, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so watch out for the replacing one for another. Oh, my lordy. Really? Well, this is your whole reading. <laughs> we did shuffle it. 
We did shuffle it, and I'm going to have faith that this is your reading. I am going to have faith that this is your reading. There's some family issues that are on the mend. Family issues that are on the mend. The challenge is the world card. Heart of the matter, three of cups in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse for the past. The everything is fine, which is the ten of swords energy. Um, ten of pentacles, seriously. Ten, ten, ten. This is divine timing at play. That's judgment card. It's it's the time where you can have, um, well, forgiveness in our heart. Or this can be really an enlightenment enlightenment to something i've been getting that with the judgment i've been getting like being awoke to something wait awoke to something letting go of hurt in third party situations this one looks like it could have been and it could have been this energy where you thought this was soulmate energy and it's really time to find uh either something that's going to be reciprocal or it's time to embrace the unknown here with the moon because there are changes there are changes that are coming. Got to have confidence during these changes. And dang, if you were having, if you were wondering if somebody was going to be committed to you, if like, if you go through something, you've had heartache, the person I'm talking to is going to get to a point of forgiveness and it doesn't always mean second chances, but who who I'm speaking to here, I really feel like this is about second chances. I really do. If it's not, then okay, that, that's just probably not for you. But I have something here um, about letting go of any kind of hurt that you might have had in past. Um, hurtful gossip that you've heard friends betraying you, maybe a friend like hitting on the person that you are with or your, you know, husband or wife or whatever that is to you and or girlfriend or boyfriend is this may be like a, a really, it must, must have been very hurtful because we're having nostalgia on the good things here. But there was something that, I don't know, I feel like you had to walk away completely from something. And maybe you're in this period of separation right now. Maybe you don't feel so much like forgiving because this Ten of Pentacles being in the reverse is telling us how you feel. It is your feeling that this is a long-standing, I'm thinking long-standing family issue too in the family. The Ten of Wands in the reverse here in the past, just you couldn't carry anymore, you know? It's like I, I tried my best, I worked really hard, and I couldn't carry anymore. I was carrying all the load myself. Everything most certainly is not fine. When you see that card, everything is fine looking like that. The Queen of Wands is in the reverse for the in the environment. That could be Aries energy, but something is not fine with maybe keeping gifts to yourself. We have first aid assist with, I love that, with that, um, the cross. First aid, like, like red cross, it reminds me of first aid assist here um, from your spirit team. And in the future, an opportunity to show uh, grace and forgiveness and what you think about comes about, you're truly thinking about celebration, commitment, and milestones met. You're also releasing any kind of bind that you had to um, any kind of betrayal or friend, uh, soulmate type deal. You're open to change, and this outcome is you being really um, open to changes. I feel like psychic, I think even Okay, you're probably going to receive gifts, too, because of the Six of Pentacles in this particular deck, too, has the gifts. And maybe somebody trying to, you know, uh, kiss up because of whatever this issue is about. Confidence. You may have feel like sometimes you don't have confidence or you're not sure if somebody or, or maybe you're not sure if you're committed or not. 
I don't know. We, that's what we're going to clarify, the strength in reverse. It could be a Leo energy that's just not present at the moment. And that King of Pentacles could be Taurus. It is a committed person, though. Um, really good finances, guys. You're getting out what you've invested. And then whatever is not, whatever you're not getting out, you know, um, whatever is hurting this, it, it feels like addictions or... Um, yeah, somebody that's just hurt you one too many times, like death by a thousand paper cuts. What do we need to be bold and brave about? Piscean energy up there. Um, Taurus energy. What's the Queen of Wands in the reverse about? Healing. And then that's 4-4. Four, four, right? four, four. You are protected and supported to go ahead and be thinking about soul's purpose and um, not to worry that something is going to be healed. Maybe it is with this Aries. You do have this world here. I haven't even touched on that. And that's actually the challenge is this new chapter. Is uh, living in the new world. The new um, higher consciousness. <laughs> aware of more. Aware of what your action might be due to another person's actions maybe we're being more considerate in that sense about what we do and about our actions because of the things that we have already been through all right so let's get clarity on the three of cups in the reverse three of cups in the reverse clarify that for us spirit clarify three of cups in the reverse for gemini yeah Felt like an outsider. Felt out of place, not at home. And that's why we were thinking of nostalgia and how things were possibly in the past when things were maybe better for you. Good memories, though. Soul, soulmate memories, family ties. The Five of Pentacles is somebody who's really still processing some really deep emotions, some hurtful emotions here. Um, the Five of Pentacles, she gets through this, she lifts her head, and she sees the key, and then there you go. That's how she unlocks it. But there is a time period where we feel um, really alone, ghosted, or ignored. Maybe it's asking you to, to remember a time when you were either ghosted or ignored so that we don't do that and hurt somebody else. So, I mean, so it's not a ripple effect like what happened to us, possibly. All right, the Ten of Wands in the reverse is the Eight of Cups in the reverse. I, I'm getting somebody tried to come back, but it was too late for something. Maybe not too late for, obviously, the bigger goal, but it's it's the message of, like, what's taking, what took you so long? What took you so long? Hmm. What's up with the everything is fine card in the reverse? This can also be like a need for a rest or a break that we didn't get and then kind of like burnout on a situation because of that. There's the Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands right next to the Six of Pentacles, <laughs> which is um, really good news if you're waiting on this Eight of Wands, then it's to have patience while you're waiting on this good news. Uh, wow, you have 666. That is totally like reassess, wake up call. Where, where are you right now? Are you happy? Do you feel like it's an equal give and take? Um, are your relationships reciprocal? Is somebody, are you with somebody for maybe the wrong reason? Um, or yeah, let me, let me get this. Let me clarify the 10 of pentacles, please. In the reverse, cause it's coming. It's coming. It's just, okay. It has to be worked on. You're working on it. You are working towards your Ten of Pentacles, and you are working very hard. Be careful to get some rest and time out here. And be careful with what, how we're getting to that point of all this exertion. Like, how are we getting that energy? It has to come from somewhere, and 
there is a, a release and and so just be really careful with your body here I feel like and don't try to rationalize this how it works out it's not going to be all logical here What's the strength in reverse about? Wow. Holding on to resentment. We need to let that go. And the hangman here. Nice. Seeing something from a different perspective. Going inside. Um, hanging in there. Having kind of like a waiting period. Waiting to see if someone's going to forgive you or if you're going to forgive them. And then I see major commitment here in the future. So there you go. Unknown blessings are on the way. You need to have more confidence here. And understand that everything is truly working out for your highest good. You have two eights too, guys. That's really showing that whatever this King of Pentacles is, it's a huge success when it comes to money matters with the the whole family so anything else let's get something on um let's get something from a different deck let's go to your the oracle deck and get what i was going to finish with ah jeez guys got me worried about my gemini's i've got messages here um self-sabotage Heavenly helpers, you got some messengers or people you might be meeting. Watch who you extend your hand to and be gracious for anything, any kind of help that comes your way, even if it be advice. Always know it might be an angel. Just saying. <laughs> Intuitive life coaching oracle. To an life coaching world. You are an empath. A lot of empaths are driven to addictions and uh, especially ones of escape from body, from feeling like body pain and things like that. And the reason would be because it's so hard to process. But like I said, the emotions, once you realize you're soaking up other people's emotions, then you can process them. And you can even protect yourself from really feeling them strong. But until you know that, it will manifest as, like, literally your your body tries to take on stuff for people. <laughs> because it's like, that's what it naturally wants to do. Um, not everybody is like that. And like I said, so that might have to do with somebody's addiction or something like that. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is to have compassion here. Surrender the ego too. Surrender a need to control this. 51 empath, you may be confusing other people's energy with your own. Like I said, it can make you sick. 61, a support team. Two minds are better than one. Three minds are better than two. And four minds are unstoppable. That's that team group think. 72, the earth shifts. You're very connected to Mother Earth, and as such, you experience all that she does. And as empath, you experience these shifts on a very physical level. You may even need more rest than other people during Earth shift times. Self-love, self-love. You are learning your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself. And then look what comes out. Your spiritual gifts, another eight, 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 eight now in your reading. Goodness, guys, Gemini, <laughs> this is amazing. You are in the process of developing and fine-tuning your spiritual gifts. And on that note, I'm going to pull something from the Oracle of Genetic Gifts just to see if maybe it will give you all some confirmation on gifts. On gifts if you're wondering do I have gifts what are my gifts you could be going through a dark night of the soul at this time yoga might help you clear sentience clear feeling and that's what I'm saying about that um there could be some self-sabotage here uh, just because of improper ways of dealing with the energies so now that you know this energy issue then you can you can deal with it 
Clairvoyance, Clear Seeing, Portal Keeper, 3D to 5D Ascension Fulfillment. This is the time to wake up. Yoga Instructor, Body and Mind. You need to support your body and mind. Like I said, this could be a Dark Knight of the Soul. It says Path of Initiation. And Astrology, you have Ancestral Knowledge here. And some, um, let's get these. I like these. Soul's Evolution cards, too. And we'll wrap it up with this Gemini. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Denial. I acknowledge my fear and I replace it with the insight of awareness. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. I know that I am never alone. Sending you love and light. Thanks.